What's up guys? Good morning. We're on a stormy, stormy day. I don't know if that lens is hold on there right there. Big time stormy day. Check it out, man. But we got some bright skies coming right there. Check it out. But we got all these storms all around us. You can actually hear the thunder still. So we're getting out there, but we're gonna stay close to the house and put some slabs in the boat. It's a beautiful, cool morning for a summer day. And so I got the crazy loud shirt from Windrider on. I love it, it feels fantastic. Looks a little, looks a little bright, but loving how they feel. So anyway, we're gonna hit it. Appreciate you guys. Let's see what we can put in the boat this morning. All right, let's just make sure that we're loaded up right now. So you guys know the Hammer 10, 3poundfishing.com. You guys can check that out. Um, best darn 10 footer on the market. It's all I use, 100%, worked on it for so many years. And uh, we're just gonna load up a jig, make sure everything's good to go. Um, this is the silver lining. We're gonna start with the silver lining with a black hair jig. We've got uh, dark skies, I think this, uh, combo is gonna look good now I use a, a split shot so that helps it get down there quick but let's see where they're at first we might be taking that guy off and uh, that's how we're gonna start this morning they got no fear I'm telling you Mm -mm -mm. First fish of the day. Caught on the Patriot color. That's a solid eater right there. Letting them go though. They like that color. That was nice. Nice first drop with that color. Ooh, there's a good pile right there, guys. You can see that guy lined up. Just money right there. He just laid it in his mouth. Small guy. Not bad though, a lot of fun. Definitely sitting up here on a perch. Look at all those guys right there. All right guys, just to go through the system with people that don't know what I have here on the uh, LiveScope front. So this is an 8600 series right here. Um, you guys can check those out at PTG. Trolley motors, the Ultrex. I think it's super important to have a good trolley motor when you're dealing with LiveScope and not to mention uh, crappie brakes. Uh, you can't, you gotta have crappie brakes in my opinion to have complete boat control. Um, not that you can, I'm not saying you can't, but uh, it, it just makes it so much easier now all this is supported with the cornfield fishing gear right here check it out and uh works flawlessly now i have solexes on my boat for waypoints and side imaging and all that stuff but honestly i think helixes are just perfectly fine and uh that's my setup really so let's go find some others That's a good fish. Yeah, boy. Solid eater, that's what we call a solid eater. Man. So right now, just casting to him with the Sniping Braid Optimal. Best darn 10 footer, the Hammer 10. Hammer 10 is putting a hammer into him today. Catching tons of fish, not showing them online. Not really on the video, but you know, it's, it's interesting. The size has got definitely smaller right now, but that was just a solid eater right there. Love that. So we're just casting into this guy. I got the shiner on. Um, almost a pure white baby shad style jig. And uh, look at that, just got another one. Um, seems to be, that's a small guy. Um, Seems to be doing the trip. See how big time contrast. Mm 
and jig head and they seem to be liking it. Just let it drop all the way down. These are really deep fish. I don't typically fish this deep. But they're down there. We're gonna see if we can't find a bigger one down there. They definitely like that jig. So here you can see the bait coming down right here, guys. A lot of fish down there. Uh, should catch one here. There's just so many of them and they should be pretty active, I would think. And I don't think they saw it, to be honest with you. I don't think they saw that. There we go. All right. All right. All right. And to win it with that one. See how it's falling right into the heart pocket. If I see that some have missed it, I'll drop right back down. There is the drop. And there he is. Oh yeah, good fish. Good eating size fish. Love these size fish. It's a 10 inch fish. Silver lining. Check it out on the website, guys. That, that bait there is one of my favorites. You can pair that up with any color jig head, and it is just a crappie favorite. Now, a lot of times I will vertical jig. You know, you just want to get up here and just want to do this. I Keeping your hand on the braid is the most critical part here. You can feel just about everything. This guy's moving over to it right now. See if he takes a snack at it. I got my hand on the braid, so if he even touches it at all, he's going in the box. But he didn't. One just came over to it now. There he is. As soon as they touch it, man, I can feel it on that braid. It's amazing. Super sensitive, man. Does not get any better than that. I recommend the optimized for most every lake, except for if you're a casting lake. If you're a casting lake, then I would recommend what I'm using here right now, which is optimal. Absolutely love it. I'm doing a trip to uh, a guide trip on Wren Lake tomorrow, and uh, we will be using the optimized. The, uh, I do electronic uh, guide trips, and that's what the Wren Lake one is tomorrow. It's a purely me getting in somebody else's boat and going through all their electronics, making sure everything's functioning correctly, uh, and they're getting the most out of their system that they possibly can. If you're interested in those, you can get a hold of me at uh, threepoundfishing at gmail.com. Look at that. Boom. He just barely touched it. Um, those are great guide trips because, you know, I get to sit in your boat. We go, I run your boat. We... We go catch fish. Typically I'm doing those a lot of those at Wren Lake just because they have a lot of structure in there. Makes it really easy to pick up on things. Um, but we could do it here too at my home lake. Uh, it really doesn't matter, but we're in your boat and we walk through and make sure that your system is optimal. And that's the, that's the whole point of that. Now sometimes, a lot of people believe in doing this, really maximizing their screen. Uh, I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, the only issue is uh, you gotta get used to what fish look like, and so uh, this is just not how I use my screen. I'm capable, I'm able, there's one right there. I'm able to just use about three quarters of my screen, and I've gotten so accustomed to how those fish look that I typically stick with that. I don't know if that's optimal. If I had a bunch of standing timber, I think I would probably maximize it a little bit more, but uh, the depth on your live scope is what's determining the size and look of those fish the most. So when you're changing your jacket around with depths is when you're really messing with how those fish appear on your monitor screen. So I almost always keep mine at 25. Now if I go to a Grenada, don't get me wrong, I switch to 15. Um, but again, that's usually only half my screen is being used. So. Look at this guy coming up right here. Boom, he hit it too.
Now I will put, so let's do something special here. So fish is biting pretty good, but you never not have enough scent on your bait. So we'll put the uh, bait pop on here, change the hue of the bait right here. And I always keep my bait pop and my fishing formula close at hand. Look at that. Barely laid it in his mouth. When we caught that fish, he held onto it just a little bit longer because of that bait pop, I believe. You guys are gonna check them out. I'll tell you what now, I got it going on. And just a reminder of my setup, just so you guys remember, number seven split shot, sniping braid, one uh, one thirty second ounce jig head with that uh, that shiner man that shiner's just freaking crushing it right now. Uh, tried several baits actually, and that guy is just on fire. Definitely the combination today. Now we have a super overcasty going on. We got a storm still over here on the left side of me. Um, the lake is definitely getting more live, but I think everybody knows that storm's not here to stick around. So. All right, guys, we're going to call it short episodes in the summer. We got the, the Truman event coming up here shortly. Looking forward to that. Follow. We're going to share the, ex the entire experience. If you want to learn about Truman, it's going to be a great episode coming up. Check out the Hammer 10 at 3 Pound Fishing, Cornfield Fishing Gear, Bait Pop, all these great products, PTG for the crappie brakes and the electronics. These are all things that are in my boat helping me get it done, and I'm fishing pretty much every single day. Um, looking forward to venturing out though and getting on some new lakes here shortly so uh and check out the guide service the guide service has been going great those those guide services where we get on your boat and go through your electronics i think those have been really beneficial for a lot of people um, getting a lot of great feedback on those and that's definitely been a popular thing as of late so if you want to if you want to get me in your boat we'll go to Ren lake here anywhere for that matter and we'll make sure it's dialed in correctly so thanks for watching three pound fishing have a great one guys